Welcome to Vatican City, an independent city-state enclaved within Rome, Italy. This unique destination holds the title for being the smallest country in the world. Now you might be wondering, how can the smallest country globally be nestled inside another? That's the magic of Vatican City, a place of just 109 acres, teeming with timeless art, breathtaking architecture, and a deep sense of spirituality. Despite its small size, it stands as a giant in terms of its historical and spiritual significance. Serving as the spiritual and administrative headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, it influences over a billion people worldwide. The Vatican's unique location and its role as the epicenter of Roman Catholicism make it a place of intrigue and fascination. A city that thrives on faith, history, and an enduring dedication to its religious mission. Are you ready to uncover the secrets of this microstate? The Vatican City didn't always exist as we know it today. Its beginnings can be traced back to a simple burial ground outside the walls of Rome. This wasn't just any burial ground though. It was here, according to ancient tradition, that Saint Peter, one of Jesus Christ's apostles, was laid to rest after his martyrdom in the first century AD. Over time, this holy ground became a venerated site, attracting pilgrims from far and wide, which led to the construction of a small shrine. By the fourth century, Emperor Constantine I, the first Christian emperor of Rome, ordered the construction of a basilica over St. Peter's tomb. This basilica would later be known as St. Peter's Basilica, one of the most iconic religious structures in the world. As the centuries passed, the area around St. Peter's Basilica evolved, becoming a center for the Catholic Church. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. In the mid-19th century, a dispute arose over the Papal States, territories in Italy under the direct sovereign rule of the Pope. The newly unified Italy claimed all Papal States, leaving the Pope with only the area around St. Peter S. This situation lasted for about 60 years until the Lateran Treaty of 1929 settled the dispute. This treaty, signed between the Holy See and the Kingdom of Italy, recognized Vatican City as an independent city-state, the smallest in the world, both by area and population. It's worth noting that the Vatican City isn't just a city or state, it's a unique blend of both. It has its own flag, its own post office, and even its own army, the Swiss Guard, making it a fully sovereign entity. From a simple burial ground to the spiritual home for millions of Catholics worldwide, the evolution of Vatican City is a captivating tale of faith, power, and intrigue. The Vatican City's history is as complex as it's fascinating. The Vatican City is a treasure trove of architectural wonders. Imagine a place where every corner, every stone, every structure tells a story. That place is the Vatican City, home to some of the world's most awe-inspiring architecture. The city-state's grandeur is encapsulated by the magnificent St. Peter's Basilica, a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. It's not just a church, but a symbol of the Vatican's enduring influence and spiritual prowess. Its towering dome, designed by none other than the illustrious Michelangelo, dominates the cityscape, serving as a beacon of faith and artistry. Yet Michelangelo's genius doesn't stop at the Basilica's dome. He was also one of the main artists behind the Sistine Chapel, another of Vatican City's architectural jewels. The chapel's beauty is incomparable, with its famed ceiling frescoes depicting scenes from the Genesis. This is where you'll find the iconic Creation of Adam, a painting that has inspired countless artists and left millions of spectators in awe. As we continue our architectural exploration, we come upon the Vatican Museums. This labyrinthine complex of galleries houses an immense collection of art and historical artifacts collected by the popes over centuries. The museums themselves are architectural marvels, with the spiral staircase being a prime example of the creativity and precision of Vatican architecture. And let's not forget the contributions of Gian Lorenzo Bernini, whose artistic genius has left an indelible mark on Vatican City. From the towering baldachin over St. Peter's tomb, to the ethereal beauty of the Chair of St. Peter, Bernini's works are a testament to the fusion of art and faith. The Vatican City is more than just a city-state or the spiritual home of the Roman Catholic Church. It's an architectural canvas where every structure, every piece of art, has been meticulously crafted to tell a story, to convey a message. The city's architectural marvels aren't merely buildings, they're symbols of faith, of history, of human creativity and resilience. These architectural marvels are a testament to the Vatican City's rich cultural heritage. Life inside Vatican City is quite unlike anywhere else in the world. 
This microstate, the smallest in the world, is home to a population of about 800 residents, each one playing a pivotal role in the daily operations of the Vatican. Among these residents are the Swiss Guard, the Pope's private army and the world's smallest army, known for their vibrant uniforms and centuries-old traditions. Established in the early 16th century, the Swiss Guard has been dedicated to ensuring the safety of the Pope and maintaining the security of Vatican City. The Pope, the spiritual leader of the world's billion-plus Catholics, also resides here. His daily activities range from private prayer and reflection to meeting with religious and political leaders from around the globe. His leadership and teachings serve as a beacon for Catholics worldwide, and his residence in the Vatican City is a testament to the city's significant role in global spirituality. But life in the Vatican City isn't just about spirituality and security, the Vatican is a fully functioning city-state complete with its own post office. The Vatican Post, as it's known, is incredibly efficient, often delivering mail faster than the Italian Postal Service. It's a popular spot for tourists, who enjoy sending postcards stamped with the unique Vatican City postmark. Beyond its post office, the Vatican City also hosts its own radio station, Vatican Radio, broadcasting papal addresses and religious discussions in multiple languages to listeners worldwide. Additionally, the Vatican operates its own astronomical observatory, a testament to the Church's long-standing engagement with the sciences. Living within the walls of the Vatican City is like residing in a living museum, a place where history, religion, and daily life intersect in a truly unique way. From the Swiss Guard standing watch to the Pope leading in prayer, from sending a letter at the Vatican Post to tuning into Vatican Radio, each day here offers a glimpse into a world steeped in centuries of tradition and faith. Indeed, the Vatican City is a world of its own. The Vatican City continues to be a beacon of faith and culture in today's world. In the ever-evolving global landscape, the Vatican City holds its ground as a steadfast symbol of faith, standing tall amidst modernity. It doesn't merely exist within the borders of its ancient walls. The Vatican's influence extends far beyond, reaching to the far corners of the world, the Vatican City's role in world politics is significant. It's not just a city-state but a spiritual powerhouse, wielding considerable influence. The Pope, as the head of the Vatican City, often plays a diplomatic role, advocating for peace and unity among nations. He frequently addresses global issues, contributing to the conversation with a voice that echoes with moral authority. The Vatican's diplomatic activities, its humanitarian efforts, and its advocacy for global peace make it a significant player on the world stage. But the Vatican City's influence isn't limited to politics. It's a vibrant hub of culture and art, preserving the past while promoting the future. The Vatican Museums house an extensive collection of invaluable art and historical artifacts, attracting millions of visitors every year. This cultural treasure trove serves as a testament to the Vatican's commitment to preserving and promoting art, culture, and history. The Vatican City also takes a proactive stance on global issues. The Pope's encyclicals often address pressing concerns like climate change, poverty, and social justice. These documents, while rooted in religious teachings, offer insights that resonate with people of all beliefs, fostering a collective sense of responsibility towards our shared world. The Vatican City's role in today's world is multifaceted. Amidst the swirl of the 21st century, the Vatican City remains a beacon of faith, a hub of culture and an advocate for peace and unity. It's a city-state that, despite its size, leaves an indelible mark on the world stage. The Vatican City might be small, but its impact on the world is immeasurable. So, what makes the Vatican City so intriguing? It's the amalgamation of its unique status, rich history, awe-inspiring architecture, and its contemporary relevance. This city-state, the smallest in the world, is more than just a place. It's a living testament to the longevity and influence of the Roman Catholic Church. Its early history is steeped in tales of ancient Rome, and you can't help but marvel at the architectural wonders it houses. From the grandeur of St. Peter's Basilica to the intricate artistry of the Sistine Chapel, Vatican City is a treasure trove of culture and beauty. Today, it's not just a historical relic, but a vibrant city. It's a place where tradition meets the modern world, where ancient rituals coexist with 21st century diplomacy. The Vatican City, a tiny state with a grand history, continues to captivate the world with its enduring mystique. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more fascinating facts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.